So we have a brand new speedrunning preset that just became official on the speedrun.com leaderboard today. That is luck mode death skip glitchless, where you play through the game glitchless in luck mode and you are allowed to skip death using a big toss. That's the main difference. Um, we already have a uh, day one world record by Eldritch, the 3938. And you know me, I saw a world record and I said, you know what? I'm gonna steal that. And walking is just an easy way to set that up. What is this guy doing spawning on top of me? Get a room, man. I don't like you like that, bro. I mean, I like you, but not like that, bro. Zero damage stacks, that's what we're playing with, all right. Dude, fuck this guy. Come on, let's get this world record. Yeah, I've died like three times now, trying to get this run started. This might be a bad run for beginners. I feel like people are gonna die a lot. But also that's kind of funny, so fuck it, we ball. I still think this could be fun to have, like, more people competing to get a world record in a category. Which is one of the reasons why I want to play it on emulator. Because not everybody has X uh, uh, Xbox access. Um, I wouldn't use any percent bad ending as a way to learn how to dive kick off of the flea riders because the way you have to dive kick off of them in any percent bad ending is way different than in like a randomizer run. It's very different. I would not recommend it. It's also just like a bad category. It's not fun. Damn it. It was almost a double kill. One hit off. I don't think we can get a sub eight now. Oh God. Sub eight claw crush I don't think is possible without the double kill, but I'll keep going. Flea man. Yeah, the last run was definitely better. It's a shame we died. That run was pretty good.
Yo, is that the Takemitsu? Oh my god. Barley tea? Is this even randomized? Hold on, I think that... Hmm. There might be something wrong with the, the game. Monster Vile 3? Hold up. We Vile stacking? Give me the pentagram. I'll do it. I'll do it for the meme. Actually, that might be useful versus... No, actually, there's not a single boss you would use it for because you immediately get Alucard Shield afterwards. Never mind. It's definitely not faster for Minotaur and Werewolf in uh, this game on uh, PlayStation. The menus are just way too slow. Stacking all out in glitch list? That's a good question. Mm. Mm. We've never had to do any rulings on it. I would vote no, but that's just me. Stacking in prologue is allowed? Yeah, but that's because Richter's doing it. Richter's allowed to glitch, okay? It's called Alucard glitchless, okay? Alucard's clean. He doesn't do any glitches. Richter, on the other hand? That guy's a dirty glitcher. Is Vile stacking a glitch? Obviously, yes. It is obviously a glitch. It's like one of the most obvious, like, point at a thing and say that it's a glitch. You're changing the properties of, of hitboxes in the game. You're making hitboxes larger than, like, intended. Oh, I guess this can technically sub-8 as well. Wow, I thought that maybe sub-8's a little bit more lenient than I thought. If so, that does mean that saving during the prologue, or sorry, saving during the clock rush is optimal. If it's this easy to sub-8. I should probably just start doing it. Another table jump. Yeah, another sub eight. Barely. Yeah, I definitely need to start saving then. We just have to not die this time. Easy peasy. Thank you. 
To be fair, the definition of glitchless in this game is always just a kind of a meme, because this game, like, you can just activate glitches on accident from normal gameplay. It's one of the reasons why glitchless is kind of, like, pretty light on its definition of what is and is not a glitch in this game. And then trying to define what is a major glitch versus a non-major glitch in this game is also its own, like, set of problems. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We'll do the backup. This does suck because we lose all of our MP here, but I don't think it matters that much. It just means that the, the menuing here is going to be a little bit clunkier. I'm... I'm... Oh, I don't have enough MP for that? Okay. That's a problem. Jesus Christ. Oh, whatever, man. I'm just I'm I'm over it. Let's just get let's just move past this. I got the leather shield, right? Yeah, I did. Cool. Okay. I need to sell. I'm interested. I'm interested. Buy. Interested. We need to buy. Two of you. I guess I'll buy an anti venom just to be safe. Farewell for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to wolf the entire way. Because my MP is quite low. Trying to think. It's hard to tell how much MP I actually have. So it looks like nothing. And I don't have enough MP to miss half the time either. Which is annoying. After we kill a few bosses, it should get a little bit easier to manage. Yeah, grabbing the power of mist, I think, is like so, so useful. Two, three, hopefully that's enough. It's not. If you're really good at timing your wing smashes, you can get through with just three there. That's like straight up stolen from the normal glitchless run. You should be able to damage boost here, though. Save some MP. Do the wing smash here. Oh, I didn't have enough MP for that? That's so annoying. Oh my god, we're actually in trouble. 
Yo, Holy Sword drop? <laughs> Too bad I can't use that. Dude, what if it was the Masamune, though? That would have been huge. Now it's just a random sword clogging my inventory for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, having this low MP is, like, really annoying. Don't hit me. Woo! Juked. Got him. bad not randomized what's the point so true honestly life isn't randomized so like what's the point in living we live in a de deterministic universe what's the point not even randomized not even the laws of physics are randomized Yeah, MP management does make this category, like, annoying for sure. That's- that's not how- I said we lived in a deterministic universe. Quantum mechanics doesn't undo determinism. Otherwise, that means quantum mechanics would have no rules. Because that's the whole point of determinism. Is that the universe- exists with consistent set of rules. Determining a Whoever thinks of an interpretation that doesn't work with determinism is an absolute idiot. And I'm not afraid to say it. If you're gonna look me in the eyes and say that the, the laws of the universe are non-deterministic, then like, all of science doesn't work. Uh, speaking of shit that doesn't matter, let's go fast. It's probably better to still save some MP here. Probably not the best place to have this debate. There's no reason to have the debate at all, because you're wrong. It's okay. Sometimes you don't need to debate things that are just objective facts. I'm not forgetting anything, right? I don't think so. I think we're good. Trying to get above it. That's fine. That was a bad wing smash. I shouldn't have done that one. Not nearly as efficient. You're not ready for this conversation, Sapo, but uh, most humans aren't, but free will is not real. But most people are not ready to have that conversation. They do not have the, the, the mind power to understand being a vessel of pure experience with no will. It's all good, though.
What record are we beating? The new one. Luck mode with death skip with glitchless. A vessel of what? That's up to philosophy to decide. That is beyond the... Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have gravity boots here. That's beyond the realm of scientific uh, understanding. At least currently. And I don't think reasonably we could ever get there. Uh, I think we're still on pretty decent pace. <laughs> well, Joe Rogan said, all right, bet. That is the best rebuttal to anything I could have said. Damn. Fuck. Have you seen that guy? He's ripped. How could I argue against someone so jacked? Fuck. My whole argument is falling apart. And there's nothing I can do about it. So-called free thinker thinking they chose to say the word pee pee poo poo in chat. SMH. So-called free thinkers typing pee pee poo poo. Pee Pee Poo Poo is capitalist propaganda. All right. I'm st we got to get away from this conversation before people think I'm starting a death cult. We got to move on. Free world citizens need no driver's license. <laughs> so true, bestie. So true. How's our MP? Four wing smashes takes up half my MP bar. Looking a little rough, not gonna lie. We got the glasses. Oh, I should have put on the glasses actually right then. That was suboptimal. I mean, we want to use up as much magic here as possible because we're going to refill it before going to the second castle. So I shouldn't be afraid to use my magic here. What was my first castle time last time? It was a 23 something. Does anyone remember? Is this faster than the last time? I don't think so. It was a 24. Oh, I never got gravity boots. Forgot to grab gravity boots. Well, we're probably gonna lose a lot of time in the second castle now. Whatever. We don't need gravity boots. Gravity boots is a crutch. The world doesn't want you to know about all natural. Um, and then we'll put this here. Yeah. All natural leapstone technology. Yeah, gr Gravity Boots is a government ploy to slow us down, exactly. <laughs> Clean leap power. <laughs> We're definitely going to lose time on the trek over to death. That's probably where the most time loss is going to be. Fuck me. I should have done this first. See, in order to believe in gravity boots, you need to first believe in gravity. And if you already believe in gravity, the government's already got you, man. Like, I can't help you. You're out here believing in gravity in 2023? Bro.
You really think Einstein being like, mm, gravity's actually the fourth dimension? Come on, that's bullshit. We all know that. Is gravity even randomized? That's what I'm saying, bro. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? No one has been able to answer that. To this day, science has never been able to answer the, the age-old questions that our philosophers and four philosophers have fought for. The true knowledge of the universe, a.k.a. Jaden Smith. What up, Mixery? Uh, no gravity boots here? Uh, no problem. How about, uh, get good at the game? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We're in, we're, oh, God. Shit's bad. Uh, 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 no way I still get world record with this, right? Oh, God. We're fine. Everything's fine. I probably should just use Power of Mist, actually, now that I think about it. Do I have enough MP? Yeah, I do. We're good. Long live Cthulhu. In my chat room? Yeah, sure, why not? He seems chill. I think we need full MP again for this. Oh yeah, I power missed. I don't have to worry about missed batting like a fucking crazy person. This is another room where missed uh, power missed probably helps a lot. Because if I can make it to creature, we're in a good spot. Nice. All right, MP refill glitch would go dummy hard here. No MP refill glitch, I want my money back. No Varda either? Wow, rigged. This game sucks. Gravity boots, gotta play it safe. Pretty decent MP management. We probably had like an extra wing smash somewhere in there. Yeah, what's the point in having 99 luck if you don't get guaranteed rare drops? Yeah, this is where all the time loss is for not having gravity boots, for sure. This one room makes up for the time it takes to grab gravity boots, like, three times over. So, we're definitely losing time. But it could be worse. I put all my defense gear back on, I'm like 99% sure. So I think I can go for the big toss here, but I probably shouldn't, just to be case. Uh, safe, I mean. Just to be case, he says. <laughs> Uh, I would say maybe don't say anything too nice about HP Lovecraft in the chat. If you like the IP, cool. Mentioning the guy, we don't need to do that. Please don't ask about his cat. 
Nice quick kill. Uh, no gravity boots here is probably also fine. Could be worse. Oh god, well, when I make a big mistake like that, it is worse. Two bosses left. With no gravity boots, I'm considering taking the Coliseum route after killing Achmedon. I think that might be better because I can like wing smash upwards through that room, hopefully, if I have enough MP. I should do the eighty percent strats here, actually. Oh God, come on. Trying to assemble Captain Planet, you know it. We need the, the, the five elements. Heart, tooth, rib, earth, water, fire. And with their powers combined. Bro, he is so dead. Yeah, anyone who thinks that this, like, isn't faster than normal glitchless is smoking huge amounts of weed. Because I forgot gravity boots, and I'm pretty sure this has a chance of beating the current glitchless world record, right? Isn't the current glitchless world record, like, 3450 on PlayStation? Oh, uh, this was a bad idea, now that I'm looking at it. I should have just flown upwards, I think. Because my MP's real bad. Yeah. Oh well. Live and learn. I just won't miss out on gravity boots next time. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Yeah, we're not going to beat 3450, though. Oh, God. We are still beating uh, Eldridge's time. I am going to have to get better at MP management in certain spots. I don't think we were ever so low on MP that a mana prism was like... 
100% required, so I think getting any extra mana prisms probably isn't worth it if it takes grabbing any extra um, money. Yeah, we're going to be finished at like 3550. It should be sub 36. For Xbox? Probably sub 30 for Xbox. I mean, Xbox saves an entire minute from the clock rush alone, so. And also, I probably lost, like, maybe close to a minute by not having gravity boots. Let alone all the other mistakes. But for a first attempt of this, as long as I don't forget gravity boots next time, we got a lot of time safe. There's a couple of other spots with like some pretty sloppy movement. Probably a lot of room for improvement on like individual rooms and strats as well, but honestly, not too upset about how this turned out. Oh, this is better than, wait, did I say 35.50? Jeez. All right. 3623. That's our first goal complete. How? How? But we're not done How yet. That I've been so defeated. You have that is a world record. You lost the ability to but uh, my next goal sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man? Ah, here it is. Our next goal is Fire's standard glitchless any percent run of 3428. Because if I can beat the current PlayStation best uh, glitchless time to show that this uh, category is faster, could be nice. Could be fun. She also said to tell That's you my next goal. she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, pretty, pretty fun run, I guess, overall. It's not bad. I think if we can clear out some of the more awkward movement sections, obviously if I grabbed gravity boots, things would have been a lot different. Um, so I just have to grab gravity boots. That's like a free minute of time save, which means I'm only about a minute off execution-wise on top of that. So... And I could easily save a minute uh, from movement outside of the, the gravity boots thing. So it, it's definitely possible. The routes might end up being close, but we'll see. There's also the possibility of adding more mana prisms to certain sections, but that's going to require a lot more testing. Why is every glitch just run on PlayStation 1? It's not. I'm doing this thing called a filter. I'm filtering for PlayStation. If I get rid of that, it shows my Xbox run. But obviously, comparing against... An Xbox run of 30, 49 doesn't make sense. So when I'm playing on PlayStation, that's why people should do this if they want to compare their times. And the reason I'm playing on PlayStation is because I want people to, to feel comfortable competing on uh, emulator instead of like, oh, I have to get an Xbox to get world record or whatever, because I'm tired of that excuse. I'm tired of people saying, oh, I can't get world record because I don't got an Xbox. Well, get this one. New world record. Just go get it. My run's bad. Anyone could beat that if they put in the time and effort. And hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. Indeed.